March is here, and the official start to spring is only about two weeks away, and it feels like time is just flying by. I've been getting that creative itch to freshen up our home for the upcoming season, and today I'm going to focus my attention on the heart of our home. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Karin, and this is my channel, Our Home on Lawrence. Decorating and creating warm, inviting spaces for my little family is my love language, and I absolutely love to share my ideas with y'all. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite cozy beverage, a warm blanket if winter is still in full force where you are, and join me as I add a little bit of spring-inspired cottage charm to our kitchen. The first thing that I'm doing this morning is making a really simple table runner out of canvas drop cloth for the table that we use as an island in the middle of our kitchen. Canvas drop cloth is one of my favorite fabrics to work with because it gives you that raw linen look for a fraction of the price and it is so easy to work with. I usually get mine at Harbor Freight and I think I spend about $10 for a very large six by nine foot piece that generally I can do half a dozen or more projects out of it. So it is very cost effective. I want to soften the wood table up a bit and I think this is going to do the trick along with adding that charm that is such a staple of cottage style. I love to make simmer pots all year long, but I also have really limited amount of pots and pans. So inevitably, whenever I wanna make a simmer pot, I always end up having to empty it out midway through the day because I need the pan for something for dinner or for lunch, for something else. So I thought it would be fun to have a dedicated glass saucepan that I could use for simmer pots. I got this one on Amazon for $15. And it says it is perfectly fine to use on the stove. I'm a little nervous about it shattering, but I think as long as I keep the, the heat on the stove, you know, not too hot, it should be fine. It had okay reviews. Nobody said that it shattered on their stove, so I'm probably worrying over nothing. But I just thought it'd be really pretty to be able to actually see whatever it is that I'm putting into the simmer pot. It would just be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than just my good old saucepan on the stove. So today I'm going to make a simmer pot with lemons, rosemary, and a little bit of vanilla. And I think that is just going to really make the house smell like spring. For me, decorating has always been a sensory experience. I love to put on relaxing music and light a candle, or in today's case, make a simmer pot. These small little steps always just seem to get me even more inspired and motivated and really help those creative juices start to flow.
really like to use a combination of real florals and fake florals, especially if I can find really pretty ones. And these were at Joann's yesterday. They are $5.99, but right now they're 50% off all of their spring florals. So I picked up this really pretty bunch of yellow tulips, and I thought they would be really pretty in a blue and white pitcher on the mantel up above the stove. Yesterday I stopped into a Goodwill that I'd never been to before and I ended up finding this sweet canvas. Something about it just spoke to me and just said spring and I thought since I've been including artwork on the countertop in the kitchen, I thought that this might be a really sweet alternative to the ones that I have out now. Those prints are more winter, um, winter themed. So I thought this, there's just something about the greens. It almost looks like he's in a meadow in the springtime. Maybe there's a lake or a pond just in front of him. I don't know. Something about it just was so precious. And it was $12.99, which y'all, we've talked about this before. Things at Goodwill are not that cheap anymore. But for what it was and for the really big wood frame that it came in, I thought that was probably a fair price and I went ahead and grabbed it. I do need to give it a good cleaning. It is pretty dusty, but I think it'll be so pretty styled on the kitchen countertops. next thing that I want to do is switch out these little cafe curtains that I have up there above the kitchen sink. I've got sort of a linen striped fabric on there right now and what I thought would be pretty was I have these cloth napkins that I bought at Hobby Lobby for Thanksgiving a couple of years ago and I thought these might be just a really simple springy alternative to that. And all I have to do is just clip them on with the hooks that are already up there. No muss, no fuss, no sewing. I may need to adjust the rod just a little bit to accommodate. I'm not sure if these are longer or shorter, but they should be pretty close.
our dishwasher has been routinely breaking down over the last several months. So since it's not really functional at the moment, I thought that I would take this opportunity to play around with an idea that I've had in my head. I've seen all these beautiful cottage kitchens where they have a curtain under the sink, and I thought that I would try that same concept, but to camouflage our non-working dishwasher. I bought a curtain rod at Dollar General for $5, the kind that is sort of in a U shape so that it would curve around the sides of the dishwasher, and a couple yards of fabric from Hobby Lobby. I bought it when it was 40% off, so I think all in I spent $15 total for this entire little project. So for just $15, I was able to add a little extra charm to the kitchen and hide an appliance that is basically just collecting dust at this point.